Hey guys, this is Caden Pierce. I build tech to extend our minds. Last video, I promised you that there was going to be a brand new lab build, and I said, it's going to be sick. A wearable computer is really just a piece of technology that we use to extend our own minds. We use to extend our capability, allow us to do things that we couldn't do before. If we bring that to the limit, could we wear everything that we use to extend our capability? I decided, let's go to the limit. So I took all of the technology that I used, my car, my house, my lab, and the infrastructure from the city in which I lived, and I condensed it all down into a machine that I could wear. A machine that is mobile, and a home, and a lab, and everything at the same time. Welcome to the RV Lab. It's now been three weeks since I officially started the renovations on the RV after enlisting some help from my dad, Tim P. Now, let's teleport back three weeks ago when we started the renovations. A before and after, if you will. The cab. Sleeping area. Door. Table. Back bedroom. And a bathroom day two and a half of RV renovations and so far it's just been destruction gutted the bed's been yanked out the bed in the back gutted now we're ready to build let's build something sick what's a two by four just two two by twos glued together I'm get this piece of crap out of here Now here's the after tour. The roof. We got camera cables run. We got a 325 watt solar panel. Another 325 watt solar panel. 400 amp hours of lead acid batteries. That's a lot of power. Cab hasn't changed. We're looking at the bed. For hackers, a house is just a lab that you sleep in every day. So I got myself on tap with the, with the bed in the RV. Oh, okay. So much space, so much, there's so much space, can almost lift my leg without going through the roof. It's so nice, you know, I stretch my legs in the hole. Okay, controller, subwoofer, talk about surround, talk about more surround, center, more surround, and more surround. Once we had the sound system installed, all that was left was for me and Tim P to try it out. We immediately see what I lovingly refer to as lab number two. This is the seated desk. This was the kitchen table. It's all the hardware station stuff. Harrison's always chilling. A VR setup, that's right. The VR is mounted to the ceiling. One, two. This is what I lovingly refer to as lab number one. This used to be a bed, standing desk. Let me snap my fingers and make this, you know, hacker. The solar charge controller, MPPT. Camera one. Camera two. Camera three. Teleport to tonight. So let me walk up here during the day so you can see where I'm going. Teleport to tonight. Camera four. Camera five. You're probably thinking, sick setup, man. Pretty sick lab. Last lab, pretty sick. But does he just build labs? Does he build anything else? If all you do is build labs, why don't you just build a lab to help you build labs? Well, while you're at it, why don't you just build a lab that helps you build labs dedicated to building labs, huh? Well, we are gonna hack. We're gonna build some sick stuff. We're talking about fractals, BCI, wearables, VR workspaces. No matter what we make, it's gonna be about extending our capabilities, extending intelligence, extending thinking. So thank you so much for joining in for the video and checking out my new lab. And I can't wait to come back with some projects very soon.